cold start. We can't go in here. There's no trucks. Ooh, right. nothing clean. Chucky Ando. Que quema. Tell me where he touched your bank account. <laughs> <laughs> Today is the day. This is the day that's gonna suck. I hate these days. If you guys remember last year, right about this time, we had to make some big purchases for tax deductions to bring our taxable income down a little bit, and today is that day. So, if you remember last year, I made a video called the IRS forced me to buy a 2020 AT4 Duramax. That's how this truck came to be. The reason why, this truck's 100% deductible. It's over 6,000 pounds. It saves me a lot of money on taxes by buying this truck. Unfortunately, another year has gone by and I'm back in the same position. So today, I've gotta get rid of this truck. I've already actually set up a deal. The new truck has already pretty much been paid for and papers have been signed. Everything's ready to go. I've just gotta go drive about halfway and this guy's gonna meet me and we're gonna swap out this truck. It's got four miles on it so far. That's all I'm gonna say for right now. But anyways, before we trade this thing in, today I've got one thing that I need to do to it before we can go. After all of the road trips that we've been on in this truck, 25,000 miles in a year, that's crazy. But anyways, there's a, rip, a giant rock chip right here. Ugh, can you see? Oh yeah, that's real clear. Yeah. So there's a big rock chip up there. I've got this kit that I got from Advanced Auto Parts. Super helpful. I've never used one. I've seen a lot of videos on people using them. So we're gonna give it a shot today. See how well it works. And if it does work well, well, you guys know where to get it. And you can use code just 6 at Advanced Auto to save 25% off of this thing. But anyway, I'm gonna pull this thing outside so we can get a little bit better lighting. They're about to start washing the McLaren. And I guess I'll clean this truck out and get ready to take it to trade in. This is literally my favorite truck. This has been my favorite truck that I've ever had. And it sucks because we're back to the same point, just like we were with the old Duramax Allison, where again, we gotta get rid of it. And it just, I hate it. After the first few times that we pulled the trailer with this truck, found out the single rear wheels are just not working out very well. We need a dually. And um, so that's pretty much a lot of the motivation for today. That's the reason why today had to happen. It's mainly just because we got a bigger trailer. We have bigger stuff to do more than what this truck can do. As much as I love this thing, it's gotta go for a few reasons. And I just gotta hate it. Cold start! Damn, the only truck that can have a fully stock body and just look perfect. So here's the deal. We're gonna fix this windshield. Like I said, you can get this at Advanced Auto Parts. Click the link down below. Use code is just six to check out. You can save 25% off all Advanced Auto Parts. It actually saves quite a bit of money. We have actually, I think we went and looked the other day. We have saved people a combined amount of over $300,000 so far for Advanced Auto Parts. So that's kind of cool. If you guys want to get in on the savings, go use code is just a six. Grab a windshield repair kit. Grab new tie rods for your Jeep that's about to fall apart, I don't know. So like I said, I've never used this before, so bear with me. Step one, clean loose pieces of glass from the damaged area with push pin. After that, clean windshield around the damaged area with the alcohol towelette. Step two, take the adhesive disc, peel the backing off of one side of the adhesive disc with the tab pointing upward, Line up the hole in the disc with the center of the damage. Press the adhesive disc onto the glass. Step three, peel off the other side of the adhesive disc. Line up the pedestal with the adhesive disc, making sure that the tab points upward and matches the tab on the adhesive disc. Firmly press the pedestal against the disc, again, making sure there are no air bubbles in the adhesive. Step four, remove the cap from the resin tube. Place the resin tube stem a quarter inch into the pedestal opening and carefully squeeze the tube to load the resin into the pedestal. Once the tube is squeezed, remove resin from the pedestal. Wipe off any residual resin from the tip. Step five, make sure that the plunger is pushed all the way into the syringe prior to use. Carefully and firmly twist the tip of the syringe into the pedestal. Step six, hold the syringe with one hand and gently pull plunger with the other hand. Lock the plunger in the lowest indent setting by turning the plunger indent into the clip. Allow entire assembly to sit as is for 10 minutes. Once step six is completed, temporarily remove the syringe from the pedestal. This will allow air into the syringe. With the plunger still locked in the lowest indent setting, carefully replace the syringe by twisting the tip of the syringe into the pedestal hold the syringe in one hand and gently push the plunger down with the other hand and allow the entire assembly to sit as is for 20 minutes step eight once step seven is it's completed remove the syringe using the safety razor slowly remove the pedestal and the adhesive disc from the glass step nine place curing strip over the damaged area to hold in resin step 10 remove any air bubbles using a safety razor to lightly smooth over the curing strip move the vehicle into the sunlight area and let sit in direct sunlight 
sunlight for at least 15 minutes. Resin will cure with natural UV sunlight and at least one hour is required to cure. <laughs> so it's a little bit hard to tell, but there is our little crack. It didn't completely fix it by any means. It's not disappeared. It didn't make it vanish, but what it did do is make it a lot smaller and it's definitely gonna stop it from spreading now. This one was honestly not exactly the best case to test this with because it was such a big crack already. And not only that, there's actually only a very small pock mark on the outside of the glass. The majority of what had happened on this damage was inside of the glass itself where a few layers of the glass had split and started separating. It fixed it still, which is not as good as what it could be if it was a little bit different type of uh, chip. Now that that is done, we can go get a check from the bank and head out we got a two hour drive and then we're going to pick up a new truck let's hop on the road well we are uh we're five minutes away from pulling up to the place that we're going to meet the guy at this guy is really nice actually he's he works at the dealership but the dealership was about four and a half hours away and we didn't really want to make that drive today <laughs> and so he was nice enough to meet us halfway all right i'm gonna whip up in this thing all right all right and this oh wait we, we this. can't go in here there's no trucks just to run through a little bit of explanation real quick because i know you guys are probably a little confused last time that we did this video it was a lot more difficult and we learned a lot since then basically don't mess with the wrong dealership also be prepared so this time we were a little bit prepared which is why you guys are seeing this video earlier than december 20th but essentially um the end of the tax year is on december 30th first obviously and what that means is you've got to have everything financially taken care of before that date because after that you start pretty much the new year and everything's on record for that year. throughout the year all of the money that you make is income obviously but that is not taxable income because obviously as a business and a business owner you've got deductions and expenses and things like that like payroll or office supplies or things like that in this case this company truck i.e the duramax this has been a very big deduction because it is over 6,000 pounds. The government has this weird thing where if it's over 6,000 pounds, it is 100% deductible. And what that means is, is let's say if you make, I'm just gonna use this, these numbers for a rough estimate just to explain. But let's say if you make $150,000, you would get taxed on that $150,000 based on the tax bracket that you're in, which for me, it's 43%. So on that $150,000, typically you would pay 43% in tax. But in our case, being that this item is 100% deductible, you'll take that 150,000, subtract the amount of whatever the 100% deductible item is. In this case, it's roughly 80, 90, $85,000, something like that. And uh, you'd be left with right at about 60,000. So after that deduction, you're actually only having to pay taxes on 60,000. So if you use that same logic and kind of bring it to a little bit bigger scale, you kind of understand a little bit of the reasons why you see at the end of the years, a lot of people start spending a lot of money and people start thinking that it's really just in ways to flex or ways to whatever and it's really just not. You gotta spend the money one way or the other. You either are gonna spend it in taxes or you can spend it on items that are 100% deductible and use the money to make more money. Um, so that's pretty much the short version of tax strategy. <laughs> Uncle Sam made me do it. <laughs> Tell me where he touched your bank account. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy, he did more than touch that bank account. <laughs> Today, we are essentially trading in this 2020 AT4 Duramax that has been my favorite truck for the longest time, but it's time to move on from it because we did get a little bit bigger trailer. We do need a dually. There's no need to have two diesel trucks and I don't even have the room for it even if I wanted to. So today we are trading this thing in on a 2020 F350 Platinum dually in black i guess now we're just waiting paperwork's already pretty much taken care of so we're gonna get here exchange vehicles and drive two hours back home after lunch oh nick don't play like that can, can you see it on camera off. yeah you can kind of see it oh oh, 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 there he is. oh, 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 oh. Right. got that in clean wow that looks weird <laughs> it it's does. gonna be it's weird so driving stock. that around <laughs> it's so stock <laughs> oh man that wheel gap hell yeah oh. Yeah. Is this part of it? <laughs> you know that I've never driven a dually before? I've never even really been in a dually. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Hold they're, on. they're roomy. There's a built-in power inverter. Really? That's very helpful. Wow, the seats are actually really nice. They're roomy too if you sit in them. Yeah, they got that instead. Okay, stand it up. See, that makes much more logical sense than that tailgate. Yeah. This makes way I more sense. You can't undo all of it. Oh, no. Nah. Look at that. Check out that nice little ding up here. From that, that was yeah. the first time that I found out that you cannot open this 
With a hitch on yeah, it. Yeah. It's so stupid. Somebody told me that the other day. They said, you know you can't unfold a whole thing with the hitch on it. I'm like, yeah, I had no idea. Watch the running boards. Oh yeah, they roll up. Ooh. <laughs> that is so sick. <laughs> you wouldn't even know they're there. What? I gotta finish signing some paperwork, obviously. Signing over the title to the other truck, signing the title to this truck, getting all those transferred. And um, and after that, we're gonna be going and grabbing lunch and heading home. So give me just a second. Well, what do you guys think? <laughs> Honestly, seeing it in person makes me appreciate it way more. That thing looks good. This is gonna be the first dually on the channel. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it. I don't even have really any plans with it, but you guys know how it is. I'm gonna keep it stock, kinda, for the first few days. <laughs> Comment down below, guys. Give me some stuff that you'd like to see done to it. I'm not sure where we're gonna go with it. I don't know the plans for it entirely yet. This is a Platinum, by the way. This is pretty much one of their top of the line trucks. It is four wheel drive. There is a lot of benefits to this truck, though, especially over that one. And we're gonna get into all those probably later on today this afternoon or something like that i just don't want to you know sit in the parking lot of the movie theater two hours from home and do this whole video here <laughs> especially because we haven't eaten lunch yet and it's like two o'clock but wow there it goes that is crazy <laughs> wow that is weird i've been talking about it for a while now, but I guess it never really set in that that truck is literally gonna be gone forever. I'm sad. Look at it. <laughs> no! Damn, man. That is a good looking truck. But it was stock at one time and it looked really ugly at one time. So seeing this gives me a lot of hope. It looks really damn good for a stock truck and it's a platinum. And it's a dually. <clears throat> Immediately taking it on the highway, we're gonna get death wobble. Chill. <laughs> it's gonna be so smooth. Oh, it's not actually. It's a one ton truck. Wait, what? It's an F-350, not 250. It's a one time, baby. That'd be all right, it'll be smooth when it counts. Yeah, it'll be smooth with a trailer on it, but without a trailer on it, that thing gonna ride like a brick. Actually, it may not. It's an FX4, so it might not actually. I don't know, let's get in and take it for a drive. It's funny because I have not even gotten to see anything about this truck aside from what's online. I've not sat in one. I've not even test drove one. Really, this was kind of the most yeah, I would definitely say this was definitely the most spontaneous purchase for sure. Well, you didn't get to do that with the McLaren. You didn't get to do it with... Well, that was at least premeditated. This was like uh, you're right. exactly 24 no, hours ago. He, like literally, he's like, you want to get a truck? And he found one literally like yesterday and today's today. <laughs> today's today, yep. And we're in a truck. I don't know anything really about these trucks. I have not gotten to test drive it. I don't know if I'm even going to like it. I hope I do because we're stuck with this probably for at least until next year. <laughs> First off, wow. It's a lot easier to get in. They're a lot comfier. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there's a sunroof in the front and the back. Yep. Wow. That's enough. This is really interesting. You got another wireless phone charger. Wow. Okay. This is interesting. This is very, very interesting. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of worried about the interior, but it's not that bad. These need to have some kind of like color matching or something. I don't like that silver accent. That's gotta go. Whack. Oh, look at the wood and the doors too. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm start this thing. Oh, it does have a digital dash actually, but it's not a whole. It's not the whole thing. Nice. Okay, so we got all of our standard. Wow, this is weird. You go to the TPMS portion, there's six different readings because there's oh, six Oh, that's tires. weird, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that is really high tire pressure. I'm curious how the speakers are in here. Wow, there are 10 engine hours on this thing. Trailer light check. That is cool. So that's another thing about this truck that is different from the Duramax is there is actually a surprising amount of features despite the fact that they're the same exact year between a Ford truck and a GM truck. The GM that we just left and got out of, sadly, it's the same year, but it had a lot less features. And these are both, again, top of the line for what they are. That one was the AT4, so it's pretty much about the same level as the Denali, just without all the chrome crap. And this one is the Platinum. But this truck, from the little bit of reading that I did do online about it, it has a lot more than what the other one did, which is nice. They've even got trailer tire pressure on here. Wow, that's a lot of space. That is a huge center console though what in the hell you could fit a child in there all right so we got six seats <laughs> look in here these are auxiliary switches yeah that's why but they don't actually do anything yet i think you can hook stuff up to them and yeah. use them for your own stuff oh lights and yeah. stuff like that so you right can put on. leds on the outside and stuff like that okay oh, i got right. you talking My about for the, you can use one for the rolls royce like you can put a light bar on them oh yeah 
this or the back? Oh, that's the back. I just need to know how to shut this. I like a bunch of chimpanzees. Honestly, yeah. Uh, just hopped in a spaceship. Oh, oh, oh. what was it? <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so I think that's it. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Keep going. Does the back go forward? I uh, bet. Why would, why would it do that? I don't know. <laughs> just to close it again. <laughs> They're just gonna switch places. Oh, I love that. They just have a button for the cameras, versus the other truck didn't have that. That is true. That's so not. convenient. Y'all got AC seats back there? Not seats, we got heated. So oh, that's good. We do have vents, so. Oh, actually, that's a big deal. Let's test the vents. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is a big deal. The Duramaxes were not that impressive. You got massage mode in here. Oh. Put, put mine on high. Ooh, I feel stuff moving. I don't, hold up. Hold up, I don't want to feel. <laughs> How does it feel? It just moves around a lot. It just moves back and forth. Ooh, ooh, God, it, it raised a butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is strange. I, don't, I feel like somebody's touching me. It's the Ford, the Ford is touching me. Oh, it's got like forward, back, middle, and front, like butt cheek movers. Oh, this is strange. I bet you this is nice for road trips though. There's a boost gauge. Wow. Yeah. So one thing about this truck that's really interesting is that this truck comes with a enormous fuel tank. This thing comes with a 48 gallon fuel tank. We are at half a tank and at half a tank we have 407 miles to Oh empty. my God. <laughs> we can literally probably drive almost a thousand miles on one tank now. That's pretty crazy. That's like damn near across the country. Well, we've been sitting in the truck for a while. I guess we should Ooh. put it in drive. Oh. This is a tank. <laughs> It feels like driving it feels huge. All right, so what's the name for this truck? Put it in the comments. Yeah, people are gonna have to comment and help because I'm so bad at that. You're supposed to be creative to be a content creator. I'm just, that's the part that I like. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go grab some food and we got a two hour drive back home. Once I get back home, I guess I'll do a quick walkthrough real quick and show you guys around the truck. And after that, I don't really know. I guess that's pretty much gonna be it. It's only a video buying a truck, so. <laughs> Andrew's already outside. Dang, dude, this is clean. Damn, she thick. It is spotless. Look at the undercarriage. That's I mean, it's nice. brand new. This thing's a little hard to turn around. Look at the suspension, bro. It's clean. I like how we're acting like we're surprised that it's clean because it's brand new. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I was about to like, say, what do you mean? It's got it's like 400 new. miles on it. Chucky Ando. Que quema. Yo. Y'all are fishbowling pretty hard. We are. <laughs> bad, actually. I like the running boards. Yeah. I do These too. running boards are made of running boards. They're extremely nice. What you think? I like it. It's pretty cool. I like it. Are you really, like, I mean, I'm oh, lie. Oh, lie. the power yeah, step? Oh, yeah. yeah that's gotta change. What's good? That's, good? that's a nice truck. The Is motor, it comfortable? Yeah. A lot I mean, of space? Like, it, plenty of space. The cab it's a one ton truck, so it rides a little rougher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, it's going to be great when it counts and that's hauling that big ass trailer. So That is a very large bed. Hey, you know what though? One thing I'm not complaining about. Check it out. No two piece tailgate, no hitting the hitch. Oh yeah. And you can have a hitch on there if you want to get in the back. Don't worry. Hey, call it. Got the old man handle. Old man you can handle. Climb up it while the hitch is still on the truck and not dent your tailgate. Brilliant. Oh. Whoa, this is this is miraculous. You know, it's not as wide as I thought it would be. Really? Yeah, yeah I, I thought I it would agree. be much wider. You should see it in a parking spot and then <laughs> come back with it. I <laughs> it, it literally, it's stock wheelbase. It will one line and like an inch maybe from the other line. It, you can park it on one. And it's, it's got girth. Girth got Brooks. Them hips. Them hips. Oh, can you call this thing Girth Brooks, please? Oh my <laughs> God. How do you like driving it? It's yeah. interesting. So. One thing, again, that's weird about this is that instead of it being independent front suspension where like you can get camber and it handles real nice around turns. Mm -hmm. You remember how good that truck handled? Oh the yeah. AT4? Oh yeah. Mm -mm. Oh. Out the window. Oh. It's not like that at all. It's a straight axle front. So. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. It literally <laughs> is like a Jeep, but with six wheels. It's a six wheel Jeep. Pretty cool. Really cool pants. Where can you get those? Oh, dude, you can get these right here at www.dls.store and every dollar that you spend right now is gonna get you automatically entered in and win that car right there behind Daniel. Oh, I thought you were talking about Daniel. Oh, don't oh, yeah. You can I win Daniel. You can have me for like an hour, maybe. Oh, my God. <laughs> we gotta take this to a precision car care. Yeah, it's actually going to get coated tomorrow. 
Nice. You set up that appointment? I did. I Where'd you do that? appointment with Precision Car Care at www.precisioncar.care or at the Instagram handle, precisioncar.care. So I don't know what to do with it yet. Uh, we were talking on the way home and it can either, it needs some different wheels, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. Those are just disgusting. So, uh, I know there's at least one fan who comments on every video about the truck to put a train horn on it. So you should put a train horn on it. Actually, Horn Blasters messaged me last week trying to figure out something to do it with. And I didn't message him back yet because I knew that this truck was going to come in and I already had that in mind too. It's actually really fitting for this truck too. I agree. So shout out to that one fan. Your dream might come yeah, true. Yeah, honestly. Oh, word. That's cool. Yeah, it's got a work light. Like. It's Ford, so they, like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, a turbocharger. I love the EGR Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I would so never really want to work on this. No. Yeah, this looks awful. That's another reason to trade in a car after it's Warranty. Year. Yes, this motor is made of motor. Doug, you gonna come over here and give you two cents? This is cool, man. Hey, what did he say? He said it's a Ford, Ford it's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tech God, what Hello. you thinking about this? It do be very nice. Yeah, it's that's probably my favorite part. The little the <laughs> cluster of switches that oh, yeah. don't have a purpose until you make it. Oh, in that yeah, they, they're that like actually fun. nice. I really like that actually. It's very cool. Tomorrow morning we're gonna be bringing this thing to Precision. They're gonna get started doing a full paint correction front to back because yes, the truck's brand new. We got it with four miles on it, but it is still going to have a lot of surface scratches and a lot more imperfections than what you can see right now because we're not under lighting. Inside cleaned up, you'll be able to see on that page on Instagram. We'll probably have some stuff. There's a lot more imperfections on brand new vehicles than you think, and the value of doing it now is that there's only a small amount so it doesn't take as much work to get them out and once they're out you coat it and you're pretty much done it's protected at that point so anyways that's the goal for tomorrow as for now though that's a pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video if you guys want to see anything else done to this truck comment down below i'm gonna be reading the comments on this one i'm curious to see what you guys want to see on this because uh it's either gonna get lifted on some wheels or lowered on some wheels new headlights and grill tent and it'll probably be left alone after that same thing that we did with the last duramax it is just gonna be a tow truck for the most part it's a dually this truck's huge so i'm not gonna be driving around everywhere it's definitely not gonna be like a walmart grocery getter or anything especially in ruston yeah especially not here so anyways guys that's gonna be a wrap for today's video make sure you drop a like subscribe if you haven't already comment down below i'll see you guys next video